Hey Power Appers, today I want to show you a setup that I use very frequently in my apps. And this is this nested gallery over here. The special thing is that the outer gallery is a flexible height gallery. So the height of this card always matches the height of the inner gallery. And in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to build this from your data. If you want to use this data, I'm gonna link you a video up here where you find the download link for this app, including all this cool SVG visuals. So let's start with a new screen. So as the outer gallery, we're gonna use a flexible height gallery. And we're gonna use um, the countries right here as the data source. And let's show the name of the countries first. This is the continent and the continent will be our category. This is the ISO code. So let's display the name first. So these are the two fields we are using today. This is the name of the country and this is the name of the continent. And right here, we're gonna have all the countries in the world. So first of all, we just want the continents. So what we're gonna do is use as the items, not the countries, but we're gonna use the distinct function. So we're gonna get all our distinct continents. And now it throws an error because the field is not longer named continent, but it's named result now because the result of the distinct function is always in a column named result. And here we're gonna have our different continents. Uh, we're going to delete the other field and make this a little bit bigger. And to make things a little bit clearer, we're going to use the template fill right here and we're going to use light gray. So next of all, I said we're going to use nested galleries right here. As the inner gallery, we don't want a flexible height gallery. We want a normal vertical gallery. So we're gonna insert a vertical gallery. Make sure you have the first card here selected or an item on the first card. And we see it right here. The gallery six is inside the gallery five. So drag it into place. And right here, we want the table countries again, but here we want the whole table. Well, not the whole table. We're gonna filter it for the continent. We're gonna filter table countries and the continent is gonna be this item dot result. So this refers to this field right here. And now we're gonna put the label in and it has the continent again but we want the name and if you paid attention in geography you see that we reached our goal here are all the countries that are on the african continent and so on and so on but what doesn't work right now is that all these cards have the same height and what's the problem right here the height of the flexible height gallery always matches the height of the things that are inside it. So when I make this a little bit smaller and move into the preview mode, then every card is smaller right here. Uh, you see it actually at the, the second card right here, the first card matches without the preview mode, always the template size that you put in here. So what we want to do next is we're gonna drag it to the position that we want, right beneath this label, this is perfect. And what we do now again is we use the template fill and make this white. So we see again how many countries we have in here. And because there is lots of space, we aim for three countries next to each other. So we set the rep count to three. And now we have to match the height of the gallery with the items inside. 
So what we're going to do next is calculate this. So we're going to count how many countries are in this gallery. Then we will divide it by three because we have three columns right here next to each other. Then we round that number up. And what we're going to do then is we're going to multiply this number by this side right here. And we also add in uh, this space right here. And we add one more space because uh, one of the spaces is at the top or at the bottom. We're going to get back into the height property of the inner gallery. We say count rows. Then we're going to use self.allitems. And then just like I said, we're going to divide this by three. We're going to round this number up. When let's say we have uh, 10 countries, then we have three rows and the fourth row with just one country. So we're going to round this up um, to zero digits. So we would then get four as a result. And then we're going to multiply this by self dot template height. This is the arrow that I just drew. And next thing is we're gonna add self dot template padding. This is the space in between. And then we're gonna add one more template padding for the top or bottom part depends from which direction you're looking at it. And when we now head into preview mode, we see that the height of the card always matches the, uh, the inner gallery. And we have no scroll bar right here because we just calculated the height perfectly. The last thing that we want to do is that we only want to show the, uh, the countries of the selected continent. And this is actually pretty easy as well. The only thing we need to do is to say to this inner gallery right here, I'm gonna go to the visible property and we say this item dot is selected. So right now the inner gallery is only visible um, when this item is selected. I'm gonna highlight this uh, a little bit probably with the text color right here, we say if this item dot is selected, then the color is going to be red, otherwise it's going to be black. So right now Africa is selected, hold my Alt key right now and select something else. And of course, as I showed you in the beginning, you can get way more creative what you show in the outer gallery and how you present the inner gallery. If you got any questions regarding this, comment below. And if you like to see more content like this, you should definitely subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.